Hello, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John, and today we're looking at this, the Beretta A400 XL Black Edition. Let's start with the case. The case is black. It's quite nice, it's uh, ABS, very highly moulded with the Beretta logo in italic, which clearly means it's fast. Uh, when you flip it over, you've got four covers, you have to push the middle and pull the top, and they come off real easy. Uh, if you just pull the top, they will come off, but you know, there's a professional way to do it, and there's a you know, the Beretta way is the professional way, obviously. Now you open it up and you have the cloth lined Beretta top, really very pleasant. Uh, you see there's a big dimple, that's from the excessively large charging handle. That was a bit of a poor design, but you know, the actual overall concept is very plush and delicious. You have your A400 Explore branding explanation of what you can get, the kickoff, uh, the gun pod, the blink, the Optima HP, the Stelium Barrels, the, all of this that we'll go into in a minute. You have warranty registration and a manual. They come with a year's warranty as standard. You can extend it for three years or you can purchase 10 years. The A400 Black comes with some shims. So you have a spare shim set, uh, both of which are reversible. So you have, I think, what's eight? 16 different possibilities of stock variation. That's pretty nice, not including your interchangeable pad system. Two spare chokes, one quarter, one half and one three quarter. The half is currently in the gun. And as they give out quite regularly, Beretta oil, it's really nice. Uh, though I don't know anybody who uses it. Uh, the gun comes not in socks but in plastic bags. These are obviously optional to throw away, but they are very nicely branded plastic bags, so that's something. All right, box done. It's, it's quite pleasant. Uh, on the top of the box, it will tell you attention. Uh, please use 32 gram only. That's not entirely true, we'll move into that later. However, I would say with any semi-automatic, for optimum long-term performance for your new Beretta semi-automatic, please use 32 grams minimum. It's kind of a get-out clause. The 32 gram 70 mil will cycle every single time with no flaws, regardless probably of whether you clean it or not. If you're gonna use clay loads, it's probably worth looking after it. Anyway, box done. Uh, oh yes, also, Piston must be inserted into piston housing before using, essentially. It's just some idiot-proof stickers they put on the front, but they peel off, that's okay. And actually, I say that, amongst the giant branding, you have a very nice little Beretta made in Italy part on the bottom there, that's very classy. I do like the black series, the black case is lovely, and the gun is also. So, the gun. On the back, you have the Beretta interchangeable pad system we're also familiar with. Uh, it comes with a micro core, there are various lengths available, but it comes with a, a standard, I think, 13mm pad on the back there. Very nice, although they are interchangeable. Moving on, kickoffs are available for this gun, by the way, but this one is not fitted with one. Moving on, it is gun pod ready. It does not come with a gun pod, but it is gun pod ready. That's quite exciting. Uh, we'll talk about gun pods another time. I don't think I've met anybody who's actually fitted one to their gun. If you do use one, please let me know how you get on. The wood, the wood itself is laser enhanced wood. That's quite exciting, isn't it? Uh, so what they do is they take a nice piece of wood and underneath it is usually quite a nice piece of wood uh, and they burn it with lasers to provide a absolutely delicious pattern on there. As you can see, it's a very good looking thing, certainly. Uh, what it also does is dry the wood out a bit and although they put an oil finish over the top, what these really benefit from is a bit of feeding. Positives, it looks stunning. So you get great wood looks for your money, some very good looks for your money. Negatives, if you need to sand this back or remove it, the burning doesn't go in that far, the colour doesn't go in that far, so you will remove it pretty quick. It's much better than the extra wood they used to do, that sort of lacquer with the dye in it that used to chip off, however it does have its flaws. If you're going to use one of these for anything that might entail the odd nick or chip, I would probably opt for the standard wood edition. However, it can still be fixed quite more simply than it could when it was lacquered. The action is black, unsurprisingly on a black edition. Little features you have, you have the extended bolt release and you have the large bolt handle. So my first gripe with this gun, really, actually, is the bolt handle is really unattractive, unstylish. Uh, I don't know, for a gun that is really sleek overall, the bolt handle is just a bit not, it's not for me. Uh, although it is very ergonomic and it works a treat, it, it, it's just not for me. And that's simple as that. 
Moving on, the barrel is a Stelium barrel, uh, really fairly unexciting with Optima HP chokes in there. Uh, they are extended and they are black extended as well, it's a real nice feature actually. And they do give you their actual true size on there which is quite pleasant, I like that. Uh, but let's put these back in, they do have a hell of a thread. I like the black, it's nice and it kind of, it's a nice touch right. Uh, the forend is also made of wood and it's got the same laser enhancing as there. Obviously there's no wood matching needed because it's mostly just burnt and the colour is fairly uniform. The rib is made of carbon fibre and is parallel 10mm. It's fitted with a double bead sight, so whether you like that or not, that is there. Uh, obviously carbon fibre ribs are interchangeable. If you need to take them off and replace them, that is a, a huge possibility. If you're intending on keeping this gun long term, perhaps worth buying a spare. However, the sight plane on it is absolutely delightful. There's something about the deep knurls they've put into the top of the rib here that just catch the light and make it so soft. It sort of provides fairly soft glow wherever you are. It's nice, it's not too attention grabbing, and that's very pleasant. Uh, the black ink is not particularly gloss, so if you wanted to take this out pigeon shooting or something, this is not a big shiny gun, and that's very pleasant. You feature a mag cutoff and a very large safety. The trigger, lovely touch, is also black, non-adjustable. The front nut, if we take it off here, features the Beretta A400 balancing system. Uh, they didn't put one in the stock on this one, but instead allow you to change sections of your nut. So you can add more weight out front if you want. I always found some great irony seeing as your gun will change in weight whether you know you've got two in there or one in there. This particular gun is a two plus one, um, a section two shotgun. They are available in a higher capacity and it is stated that you can fire all four from an FAC spec one of these in under a second because of the B-Link or blink technology of the bolt. It's very, very clever the way this works. Well, it's not very clever. It's a fairly standard semi-automatic nowadays, but that still counts for something quite clever. When the forehand comes off, you are produced with your very small, very nice piston. It's a very delightful thing. Uh, they are a lot easier to clean than the old ones. There's a lot less to clean than the old ones. It's extremely efficient. The way the barrels lock into the the bolt now, or the bolt locks into the barrels now, has changed as well from the older designs of the, the 391 and such, and it actually allows it to be that bit quicker and longer lasting. Uh, that's just a general O400 fact. They're a fantastic, fantastic bolt design, uh, not least because it's a bit of a semblance of a Benelli, which are all, all owned by the same company, so it makes very little difference. But it's a lovely touch. Uh, they come together very simple and go back apart very simply as well. This back. There we go. There's a lot to like. Uh, bore size. Very quickly, bore size on it. Oh, you like that? Alloyed Cra Mar quenched high tensile steel. So, chrome barrels. They they say they are the best barrels in the world. Um, surprised they got away with that. Yeah, they're 18.6 board barrels, uh, and hence the choke is 18.6 on because it is four. An 18.6 barrel, not as an 18.6 choke. However, it might be interesting to measure that in a second. Yeah, apart from that, it's very unexciting. Where you've got the spring container, the plastic container, it's quite a quiet semi-automatic. It's not clacky, it's not horrible. And as I've already said, it's extremely, extremely fast. There's a few little bits with the wood to plastic fit on the front here that don't particularly turn me on. It's not the best quality fit. It's lovely down the bottom here, but if you look around the edge, you end up with a, a massive lip, and it's just not perhaps as nice as I would have liked it finished. It's a really minor thing, because the rest of the wood to metal fit it isn't bad, although they've clearly, if you look inside the stock head when you take these off, you haven't got the burning oil finish on the end of the stock, so it, there's a bit of a colour dif differential, but a little bit of oil and you can't tell that anymore. Again, we're really picking holes in something that doesn't need picking holes in. Balance straight over the front of the magwell, like any semi-automatic is. Let's just pull that back quickly. Put it together. It's a long old thread knot on this. You should get the, the action that you can just take off in half a twist. It's much more intelligent. Uh, yes, so, balance point. They are a fairly front-heavy semi-automatic. I know front semi-automatic semi -automatics tend to be, but it would have been nice to see a balancing system in the back of this as a freebie. That said, if you buy the kickoff edition, they do bring their weight back a little bit. You know, the fact that they balance, what, about half an inch in front of, what's that, about an inch, in front, inch and a quarter in front of the magwell, it's not horrific. Obviously that will change when you put in cartridges, but 
it's nice. I mean, it does, it handles very, very nicely. This is a 30 inch model, and although the balance is a little bit more forward than I usually would like it, it does come together very well. It's very, very much a clay gun though. You know, it's quite slow, it's quite calculated. I like it, I do like it. I like all their black edition guns though. I think yeah, they're, they're cool um, and it appeals to me. That's probably, probably why they made it, I suppose, just for me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye, and we'll see you next time.